Hi friends, I am Rijo. Uh, today we are just plan to cover the topic Microsoft Into Microsoft Store App Configuration. So let's we will go for our learning objective. So what is the learning objective today we are plan to discussing introduction of Microsoft Store Apps and demo store app integration in the Intune portal. So let's we will go for our learning objective. So what is Microsoft Store Apps? Intune admin can browse, deploy and monitor Microsoft Store application inside the Intune. So Intune who is the managing for Intune administrator they can browse and deploy and after deployment they can also monitor the Microsoft Store app. So Microsoft Store uh, support for the universe window platforms, desktop app package .msax, and now window 32 pack also supporting for .exe or msa installer. So advantage of using the Intune store app configuration, uh, centralized manage app deployment, uh, control app availability, set installation context, define app configuration, monitor the app usage. So Microsoft Intune, there are two, two ways to add Microsoft store apps. Uh, first way, Microsoft store app in new method and next one, Microsoft store app in the legacy method. So what is that different method? Microsoft store app new method, uh, modern method, current and recommended way to add the Microsoft Store app in the Intune and installation behavior you can choose between system or user installation context and there are availability options specify whether the app should be available or required for the user device and app configuration it will provide additional setting for the app configuration such as custom setting or device restart behavior and uninstalled behavior and also it support for the app dependency the new method allow you to set a app dependency on the other app for the proper installation and functionality. So what is Microsoft Store App Legacy? It's a legacy method. This method is older and may be deprecated in the future. And installation behavior app are st still installed in their context only. Uh, availability option specify whether the app should be available or required for the user or device. And app configuration limited settings are available for the app configuration. App dependency the legacy method does not support the app dependency. So now you understand what is the difference between Microsoft Store Apps and Microsoft Store Apps Legacy. So let's we will go for our uh, lab. So what we are planning to introducing the lab, uh, we are deploying our company portal from the store app, Windows Store in the Microsoft Intune portal. So let's we will go for our Intune portal. So I will show you how to we can do this configuration. So now we reach our Microsoft Intune Admin Center. So what we are planning to implementing? We plan to implementing our Microsoft Store apps integration to Microsoft Intune portal. So first we will go for the apps. Then after that we choose the platform Windows. Then after that click Add. Then here we select the app type. So here you can see Store app, Store app New and Store app Legacy. So first we will go for Microsoft Store app Legacy. Then click it here. Here you need to enter your application name, description and publisher app URL. So currently we need to check how to we can get the app URL. So we just type. So this is you can see enter the valid similar to the WW Microsoft Store app. So we just copy this URL. After that we just go for here. Then we just paste here. So we will check. Uh, yeah. So go to English United States. You can see here this is the application LYNC. So we just choose the same URL and we will put uh, our application. So here I will put the application here. If you need to change another application like uh, Netflix or something, you just go for Netflix. Netflix Windows Store. Just click. Then here you can see you just go for www this copy this is the URL for that application then copy then put it here that URL then here you just put the uh, your Netflix name app name and here remaining all same so I just go for LYNC application then I will put publish LYNC name also LYNC and description also I will put LYNC then I will click OK then show this future app yes we need to show then information if you need to put information you are if you have a logo for choose my logo then click ok so now i will choose the logo then after that click next then here you can see available enrolled device so we can choose available enrolled device i will select the group i will choose the group app user group just to choose it then click select 
then I will click in next then create so now you understand how to we can add your legacy application in Microsoft Store app click here just to refresh you can see here our live NC application showing in the Microsoft Store app. You know how to we can assign in the legacy application in the Microsoft Store. App. So what my next plan we need to integrate our Microsoft new application how to we can implement the new method. So just click add then I will choose for the Microsoft Store app new then after that select then here you can see select the app just to go for select the app here we need to choose our application company see here you can type when you type it will be coming company portal so if you have difficulty typing just to go for your application just to go for like this take your application id then go for here just to search it see the netflix application type universal window application will be coming like this then we will choose then select then after that description you want to change your name you can see publisher also package identifier number you can see the package identifier number is hidden because you cannot change this one installation type also you cannot installation behavior system and user the app will be a system user method so you choose the default method category you can choose the category whatever the category i just go for productivity then show this app sir. if you need to show in the future app uh, in the company portal just click as if you need then remaining just i will select the logo then click the logo then we will choose company portal logo so after that we will select next so here you can see in the new method you can put required and available for the enroll and uninstall method so required means the application will be automatically installed in the device the make required required app is automatically on the enroll device so here you can see enroll, uh, available for enroll device means the application will be shown in the company portal so user need to install the device so just i will go for the required method so i just select my group then i will choose app user group then select here available for enroll yes i just choose for add group app device group then i just go for uninstall i don't have any uninstall then i will sex then you can see review and create so i just go for create so now you understand how to we can implement the app integration for the new method also so after the application will be created it take little bit time to complete the so now you can see here after little bit time you can see here the company portal will be coming here so now we installed the company portal for the new method and LINC application for our legacy method. So now we will go for our device. So I just opened my device now. Now we reach our device. We just log in now the device. We log in our device. We just go for company portal is available. We check company portal. So currently company portal is not available. So we just waiting for the complete deployment for our company portal. So it take a little bit time to uh, complete a software distribution in our device. So I just pause my video. It after will be distribution will be complete. I will come back. You can see here the notification is coming. We will check the notification. So here you can see Rejo Skill software distribution company portal was installed successfully. So we will just go for check company portal. See now the company portal is activated. We just click here. So now the company portal is open so user will be signed automatically so this one our company portal now you understand how to you can integrate your microsoft store app in the indune portal and how to we can deploy the store app in our indune device so i just wind up my topic if you like my video please subscribe my channel and support me thank you so much